So recently I had a question from someone that wanted to know, uh, will the sun cause cancer? Should I stay out of the sun? Should I go into the sun? So here's my opinion. If you look up this topic, you'll see a lot of information that sun does cause cancer, especially melanoma, which is the number one skin cancer. In fact, melanomas are up 3,000% from 1970 to now, okay? Then you have the other fact, which is this. People are getting less sun exposure. They're in the house more. They don't go outside as much. I know when I was a kid, you know, 20 years ago, uh, I'm just kidding, maybe 40 years ago, because I'm 54, we were outside a lot. Now, I'm driving to the neighborhood, I can't even see any kids. Everyone's inside, I think, because of the computers, right? Um, so we're not getting as much sun exposure. So we have this fact that opposes this fact. So one of these is untrue because you can't have two facts that oppose each other, okay? So are people really getting less uh, sun exposure? Or could it be, possibly, that the sun is not the main cause of this cancer? Well, to understand this problem, we have to kind of pull a string to see if there's any additional information that uh, aligns up with this theory or this theory. Okay, check this out. 75% of all melanomas occur in areas on your body which are rarely exposed to the sun. That's interesting. Very interesting. Here's some more information. Sunscreens have chemicals that cause cancer. There are certain chemicals in sunscreen that are carcinogens, okay? I'll put a link down below for those of you that don't believe me. Vitamin D is very anti-cancer. And vitamin D comes from sun exposure. So check this out. There's another study, I'm going to put a link down below, that assesses uh, people with melanoma and their vitamin D levels and found that there's a high level of vitamin D deficiency when in cases of melanoma. And the last point I want to bring up is sunscreen blocks vitamin D production on your skin. So it is very, very unlikely that the sun is responsible for this big spike in melanomas. I think it actually has a lot to do with other factors, what people have been eating, a lot of the vegetable oils in our diet that are very inflammatory, soy and corn, also the level of sugar, which cancer can live on. There's a lot of other factors. So based on this information, it can't be the sun. All right, and there's also a point of moderation. You're not gonna go out in the sun to get burned over and over and over again, because there is UV radiation. But you also wanna make sure that in your diet that you're consuming foods that actually prevent cancer. So in reality, the massive benefits of vitamin D from sun far outweigh any potential risk for cancer. And you also want to use judgment. You don't want to overexpose yourself to sun and get burned repetitively. That's going to create damage. And I would also suggest not to use tanning booths simply because that's a very unnatural uh, source of UV radiation. But a moderate amount of healthy sun on a daily basis, I think, is a very healthy thing. Thanks for watching. So if you like this video, go ahead and share it with someone that you know that can truly benefit from it.